here the topic called truss a truss is nothing but a structure comprised of it means the combination of two or more members suppose consider this is a truss in the truss you have to remember that all the joints all the members or all the members comprised to form of a triangular members truss truss is simply comprised it means there is the combination of only the triangular members and they are supported either the roller support or whatever the fixed supports and here this these are said to be joints and these joints are frictionless joints and these are said to be the members each each one is said to be the members these are said to be the members and these members are these two members are connected by this joint these joints are said to be nodes these joints are also said to be nodes and these nodes are frictionless okay these nodes are frictionless and the middle one this this compromise it means the middle one are said to be web this these are said to be web and this is the cord or members it one is called the top member or top cord and this bottom one is said to be bottom cord or bottom members these are said to be bottom cord or bottom members and these are said to be joints and next these joints are frictionless joints okay these joints are frictionless joints generally this top cords will be in compression this top cords will be in compression and these bottom cords will be in tension generally i am saying typically they will be most of the cases they will be in compression and they will these bottom cords generally will be in tension okay and the compression means within the member the if the forces are acting towards the member they are said to be compression and if the forces are acting away from the member they are said to be tension compression is generally indicated by the negative sign and tension is generally indicated by the positive sign it is indicated by the negative sign it means the forces acting towards the member they may decrease the size of the member it means due to compression they are getting negative sign it is elongating it means tension in the member means elongating the member therefore the length of the member may increase therefore they are indicated by the positive sign okay we will discuss about the determinacy of the structure or it is also said to be stability of the structure we cannot solve all the structures we can only solve the stability structure it means the structure which is stable the stability of the structure may be de determined by a formula called m should be always greater than or equal to 2j minus r here m indicates the members how many members are there here m indicates the members and j indicates the joints how many joints are there m indicate the member these are the members these are the members and these are the joints whatever the joints may be these are the joints and r is the reactions what are the equilibrium reactions we have one is summation of f forces in the horizontal direction is zero and summation of forces in the vertical direction is zero and summation of moment about any point m moment is zero these three conditions therefore in the place of r we can place 3 now our formula can be reduced to m greater than or equal to 2j minus 3 the truss which satisfies this condition is said to be stable truss we can only solve the stresses which are stable the formula this should be acceptable before solving the problem or before starting the problem this condition should be checked if this condition is satisfied we can solve the further truss the truss can be solved by there are two or three methods but we prefer two methods to solve the truss one is the method of joints and the other is the method of sections okay the method of joints means here in the joints there is an assumption called this total structure will be in equilibrium therefore each joint will be also in equilibrium 
we will take each each joint and we will try to solve the or find out the forces induced in this particular member in the sections we try to section it it means we are trying to cut the section we are trying to cut the section and while we are cutting the forces will be induce whatever the forces in the members we should find out first we will discuss about the joints it means the method of joints and next about the method of sections before solving the truss we should know some of the assumptions what are the assumptions is the forces acts only at the joints it means they are said to be nodes the forces acts only at the nodes but not on these members this not on these members the forces only acts at the joints and next is the weight of these members is negligible in some cases the weight of these members is negligible whatever the members we are considering their weights are negligible and third one is these members whatever the members we are consider they should be of uniform cross section we are considering this throughout this if i consider this member all the members which are comprised in this it means which are involved in this truss or should be of same cross section the first one is only force acts only at the nodes they are said to be joints second weight is negligible weight and the third is this they should be of uniform cross section all the members should be of uniform cross section and their own weight is negligible okay their own weight is negligible and they should satisfy the all these three assumptions and some of the other assumptions are the these members are pin connected members and thus those pin connected members are frictionless we are already said that these are the joints and these are joined by frictionless joints or nodes they are frictionless it means there is no involvement of friction while solving the problems called truss while we are solving the truss problems there is no involvement of the friction because the only force acts only at these joints and these joints are frictionless joints that is why this is also an assumption and trusses are connected together by frictionless which we have already indicated these trusses are connected by this frictionless joints it means there is no involvement of the friction okay these are the assumptions which we have to follow while solving the problem the two methods are joints and section first we will go with the method of joints and method of sections